hopefully folks should be able to see us and hear us uh, again i'm using stream yards tonight and i'm still having some issues with obs and my new m1 mac mini which i love but there are some issues still some issues uh and speaking of rampant technology we're playing some shadow run tonight using the tech noir system and uh we had a a cliffhanger ending last time when we ended at a bowling alley. That was the cliffhanger. Bowling alley. Yeah. Yeah. But it was Scout going in by himself. So, you know, things could happen. Uh, but tonight, Ivan is played by... I'm played by Chuck. Ivan's played by Chuck as well. We're all played by Chuck. Yeah. There we go. Chuck is a player. He uh -huh. is. He is. He's awfully just, you know, we shouldn't tell his wife this, but he's, he's a player. He is. It is what it is. Don't hate yeah, the player, hate is. the game. It, it is. Uh, playing Scout tonight, we've got... That's me. I'm Steven. I'm playing Scout. I'm the moral compass of the group. I keep everyone in line. I'm the glue that binds everyone together. You, you really could say that I, without me, there would be no show. Mm. Yes, yes. We could say that, but we probably won't. And the One best day Scout was, One uh, day we might. was left safely uh, back home. We, we didn't bring the best scout. We brought the okay scout. Well, yeah. this scout knows how to use a <laughs> shotgun a lot better than the other scout. So, Are you sure? He had experience uh, to spend, you know. I did. <laughs> Gantu played by. Uh, yeah, I'm Jeff playing Gantu. I would argue a few things. Uh, one, I do think... Uh, we could say that the best scout probably wouldn't ever need the shotgun. They'd find other ways around the problem before we ever got that far. Uh, and then secondly, I am perfectly willing to test the theory about whether we could have a stream without scout. So anytime <laughs> we want to test that theory, I'm all for it. Yeah. Okay, okay, so some context here. His character died <laughs> yesterday. He's a little bitter. It wasn't my me? fault. It was entirely Ashley's was fault. It? it was player I, versus player death. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it was Steven's fault. And I, that's my story. And I'm sticking so player to player versus don't hate player. The player hate You're the game. telling us live that you killed Ashley? Is, is that what you're saying? Uh, no, Ashley killed me. Ashley, yeah. um, oh, well, you look yeah. remarkably well for a dead person. Thank you very yes. much. I moisturize. He carries uh, well. Uh, speaking of dead people, Kaylee is played by. Is played by Jake from the Defenders of Cobalt. Uh, my character Kaylee is a ghoulism stricken elf. Uh, her only real form of sight is astral sight and some digitally enhanced shenanigans implanted into her head. She's quite the hacker. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, and really, you know, uh, a ghoul elf just looks like a hot goth. So. Yeah. You know, it, it works. It's just I'm learning to market genetics, it with yeah. a, like a digital rocker girl sort of thing. Yeah, that, that's what it is. So you guys uh, are in, uh, well, you're in a DMZ, a demilitarized zone that's been, uh, whew, that's been clamped down real tight because there are bug spirits here. Um, and there's, uh, there's nukes. There's nukes coming. And, uh, uh, well, when you left, there was... Uh, 81 hours. Uh, that was five hours ago. Okay. <laughs> Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah. We're doomed. So, We're all doomed. After taking your armored vehicle through the middle of town, just having a good old time squashing through actual zombies, not like our friendly Kaylee here, using water cannons, uh, you managed to find the bowling alley, which was the na last known location of the Seder Krupp employees that you guys are here to uh, to liberate, to save from this bug-infested, soon-to-be nuclearly annihilated city, uh, for which you're going to be paid a cool half million credits apiece. Assuming you can save them all. Yeah. L little deduction for each one you don't save. Yeah, so, you know, and technically the contract didn't say they had to come out alive. Just, it just had to get them out. Yeah. <laughs> right, and the end of our last session, uh, Scout has gotten into the bowling alley. Uh, and the last thing we had was you hearing uh, the sound of pins falling. 
and a child in the background somewhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the sound of pin falling and people bowling, which Scout might be familiar with since he wormed his way onto well, a bowling team that never actually signed him up. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I just entered, right? You did. And all I, all I hear is the sounds of bowling? Yeah, the lights are dim. You can hear some faint techno music in the background and the sound of somebody bowling. Like, occasionally you'll catch the neon flash of, uh, you know, a, a sign somewhere on your periphery just flashing here and there, but it's all you hear. Pretty much all you see. Things are fairly dark. I got my shotgun at Loretti, and I will slowly start creeping in. All right. Let's see. What is everyone else doing after Scout's gone in? And is it just me, or am I hearing some background from something? Yeah. I do hear it as well. I don't think it's me, is it? Boy, Ivan. I have my mic You're muted. You're the only one not muted. Yeah, I had muted, it. Jack. Yeah, you weren't muted. I had it muted on you the mic itself. I think on this I think you have the wrong. I think it's pulling the wrong mic because you do kind kind of sound candid. You sound tinny. You're pulling your yeah oh your webcam gosh. mic. So oh shit yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, you were hearing the noise of my youngest being wrestled into bed by my wife. Well, so. your youngest uh, perfectly emulated the sounds of a bowling alley. So yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> okay, it's so great. that makes a lot more sense. Yes correct microphone now awesome uh, so what are the rest of you guys doing so you just burned down uh what looked like a an enormous wasp nest right. that was woven into the top of this uh bowling alley scout slipped in uh, you know, well what are you guys um doing? we'll pull the we'll pull the tank uh oh, oh what did I, I actually gave it a name hang on what did i call i called it i called it something in my thing but i don't remember what i call it anyway going to uh see if we can pull the the Oh, the hussy. I called it the hussy. I'm going to pull the hussy up to uh, to whatever entrance Scout used, if that's possible, mm -hmm. and try to like do a, kind of like a park so where like there's not a lot of space. <laughs> so we can't the, open the door. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I just want to kind of pull up close so we can get out or he can get out if necessary. Sure. Jeff, it's a push, not a pull. So I'll be able to get out anyways, okay? Sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't think scout and intelligence go hand in hand. So it's possible you could be trapped in there forever. If we were talking about the best scout, that'd be a different story. Right? Yeah, that'd be probably this whole situation. You guys be... aren't even there to razz me right now, so I'm not listening to any of this. We're on comms. <laughs> <laughs> Some normal mics are going. <laughs> there you go. You're all mic'd up. Uh, all right, scout. So the back doors are right up to the entrance. So like we can kind of funnel in. Okay. Yeah. All right. SWAT style. I got you. Exactly. All right, Scout. Uh, it's dark with just a little bit. Of, it actually looks like generator lights. It is okay. why everything's kind of low and only. Am I in like a lobby right now? You are. You're in the lobby. You can smell that freshly sanitized bowling shoe smell. Uh, it's actually uh, coming from a vending machine where you your, your shoes just drop down out of the vent. Do I hear so, voices or just pins? You just hear the pins falling. Don't hear voices at all. Uh, I'm gonna be cautious of uh, booby traps as well. Make sure that uh, I'm not going in the wrong entrance. Uh, I'm looking for trip wires or anything like that. Hmm. Okay. So uh, you do notice that the little laser trip wire that it just announces customers. You haven't crossed it yet, but otherwise, is uh, there any way to cross it without setting it off? Uh, yeah, you can just go around behind the pedestal that you know. So it's got two poles, and the the beams go between. You can just go around a pole if you wanted to. Yeah, I definitely want to do that, and uh, just start creeping towards to try and get a better view of the alley, see if there are actually people in here, or if it's just okay. Uh, uh bowling, I guess. I don't know. So there is one alley uh, that's lit up. Um, it's kind of it's the disco ball in the ceiling is dropped and it's reflecting a little bit of light. So like uh, it, it's got a I don't know if you guys ever been to one of the bowling alleys that have the nighttime theme where they turn the lights down, oh, yeah. they put on the neon lights. So that's what's going on. I do my uh, although... best Travolta impression. 
Do you uh, walk with paint cans. And you do see a ball roll down the one lane that seems to be occupied, but you didn't see. You're not at a good angle to see who threw it. And you're passing by the uh, the desk up front where you rent your shoes, you get your lanes. Um, and there's a, well, uh, what was um, a, a large, very obese orc uh, that's either asleep or dead. You can't tell his body, top of his body is kind of laying over the counter. Lower body is maybe seated. I'll give him a nudge with my foot. I, I don't like seeing an orc inebriated like this. Ah, yes. Uh, in fact, is alive, uh, is very drunk. He just kind of uh, just kind of pushes you off. This is why we get such a bad reputation. You don't have to live <laughs> up to the stereotype. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look behind, you see most of the alcohol that was on the shelves are empty. There's just a few bottles, like the worst crap left. You see empty bottles all over the floor behind him. Garbage cans. Uh, if, if he seems like he's really out of it, I'll, I'll leave him to sleep it off then and keep going forward. Okay. Uh, you uh, actually, on... I w- is he armed at all? Uh, you want to frisk him? Uh, visually, ocular pat down. Okay. Uh, it looks like he probably has a, a, a pistol at the at his rear, tucked in behind his pants. I'd like to just pull that out and like tuck it away somewhere out of yeah, sight. Not, he is case. completely out of it. He's not responding to anything. It's an old Ruger style. Okay. Know. Yeah, I, I don't want to keep it. I just want to make sure it's not quickly at hand for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'll keep moving forward into the... Right. So uh, you move forward and you see uh, in the bowling lane, uh, there's a guy just kind of sitting down cross-legged on, on the floor in front of the alley, and he's just taking balls out of the rack, and he's waiting for the pins to set. He just kind of pushes it down the alley just from this oh, you know, that's sacrilege. sitting down. You see that there's also liquor bottles all around him. There's all kinds of bags of like processed food that are empty just laying around him. Uh, there's a couple of women and one other guy near him. They all look like they're passed out drunk as well. Uh, weapons? Lots of weapons? Not many weapons? No weapons that you see at all. He's actually dressed, he's in street clothes. Uh, you know, it's good quality clothes, professional looking, uh, but it looks like he's been in them for some time. They're very, they're very wrinkled. They're very just dis- disheveled. Uh, th- they appear to be the only people in the alley though, right? As far as you can see, yes. Okay, I'll call out. Uh, is tonight a league game or is that next Thursday? The guy kind of just looks over at you. You can tell that he's also drunk. You say, hey, you got any real food? We're getting really sick of eating all this package stuff. And I think we're out of beer. How will that? Oh, do you have water? Water would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I I think I saw some water uh, outside. Uh, and I'll make sure to turn on my comms so that they can hear me talking about this too. Okay. Uh, so that they're not completely unaware that people might be coming out. You guys got any more friends around here? Uh, yeah. Um, he's, he's like, kind of like, he's trying to like shake it off. He's like, yeah. Hey, um, I take it. You're not from one of the, the gangs. Like you haven't tried to shake me down or anything yet. Or no, like I said, I thought this was the league night. You know, I, maybe i got the day wrong oh no man this place has been shut down since like like everything was shut down like it's all shut down everything yeah, but like, like he pulls his hand on, out right? it's like all i get is like the crappy network from the city I, I can't i can't call home where is home for you um where am I? You're bowling. Oh, back, 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 back that way. Illinois, across the... Wait, what day is this? He's really out of it. But, yeah, there's like four more of us. Um, said something about had to go get his kids and, and, and stuff. That was like... He like he looks like for like a watch, and of course he doesn't have one. He looks at his pan. He's like, that was like seven, eight hours ago. 
had to go. Uh, who who was this? He might have been who I was scheduled against. What was his name again? Well, just Scotty and like whole division one guys. You know, they're an R and D. Yeah, hey, I'm division in one team. That's who we were playing. He, uh, he yeah, like wipes off his hands and tries to straighten up his tie. He's like, here, let me send you my card and your pan pings. And of course, it's your pan. So a bunch of spam messages come up. <laughs> let me give you my friend's number to send that to. <laughs> and I'll I'll give him Kaylee's number. All right, Kaylee. Uh, yeah, you get a business card coming over. Uh, Cedar Krupp. This my the guy's name is Ken Starling. He's on your list. Uh, oh, well, that's you, fortuitous. We really were supposed to play tonight. It, it's a big game. Do you know where he lives? I could try to track him down. Well, he, well, he's he's not. Oh, sorry. He doesn't live here. We got like <coughs> they got us like hotel. It's a really nice hotel. Like you, you wouldn't believe the coffee, man. The coffee. Uh, but yeah, he's he went to his hotel to get his kid. It was like hours ago, and we told him that it was dangerous because, you know, like, there's gangs out there. Like, they're just killing people. Have How the gangs been coming in? here? We, like, turned on the security systems and everything, so we'd be safe. How'd you? Oh, yeah, and I just, like, flash my pan or something. I, I got a bowling pass here. It lets me in all the time. And like I said, I'm in the league. I don't think it works that Okay. Uh, well, Jennifer and, and Pam and Kent, we're, we're all here like we didn't want to risk it i'll forward those names to kaylee too if i can see if yeah. he can find it yeah those, those are all on your anymore. list all on your list and they're all meant to be extracted right yeah well guys uh you said you're thirsty right we we got a whole bunch of bottled water on our oh, uh, out of here is like soy colas and beer like there's not water there's not co there's nothing here except for soy colas and beer. Yeah. We've been eating like my team my team is a uh, uh squeaky cleaners and uh we got a whole water tank on our truck here. So if you guys want some, we got plenty. Yeah, so like uh Pam kind of like wakes up. It's like hey, no, no, we're not going out there. It's like there's like gangs running the streets out there and these like insect things. It, it's safer in here. Oh, I you mean, guys sooner or later, someone's going to send someone is... to get us out of here. I mean, it's just, that's just how it works. You know, it's part of the contract. And she pulls her pan out as well. It's like, but I mean, there's no signal though. Uh, gone to, you want to come in here and uh, tell them about a contract? I just kind of whisper into the cops. You want me to come inside and do contract negotiations? <laughs> you, you tend to handle people better than I do. Oh, are you saying you need my help? Okay, guys. So uh, I'm going to go <laughs> into the truck, and if you want some water, that's fine. But if you guys want to stay here, that's fine, too. Obviously, you know, consent first and everything like that. The other woman actually, she gets up. Uh, she doesn't appear to be drunk. She would just sleep. Thing. She's like, "Look, I, I've got a kidney condition. I could really use something other than soy cola and beer." Uh, I get it. I you sure it's safe out there? Year. I mean, she kind of looks you up and down. It's like, haven't I seen you somewhere like on the news recently? <laughs> no, no, not for years. Not for years. <laughs> All right. But like I said, uh, we can extract you guys if you want. We got the the cleaner truck, you know. And, and... oh, you, did the court you? send you? Oh, that's that's excellent. But oh, yeah, uh, Gantu, yeah. Gantu yeah, will go. Then... We'll start going inside at this point, tackling <laughs> as he does. All right. Oh, look! Here he is, and I will just walk right past him <laughs> <laughs> towards the doors. Uh, yeah, the the one executive is following you. She, you know, as you're passing on to, she kind of she nods at you. Gontu's probably better dressed than Scout. <laughs> I was planning on shooting people. I wasn't planning on talking to people. You know, if you uh, if you're better at the second thing, and you just said you probably had to do the first thing less, but that's fine. 
that's so what not here, what they what, taught me what, in police academy. Just saying. What seems to be the the pertinent problem here? Uh, well, why don't you tell me how we can get you on out here? What, what what's going on here? Well, it's it's really simple. I mean, we'd like to get out of here, but from what we understand, from what news broadcasts that have been going on in the city, that the government shut the whole thing down. Like you can't leave, and like there are roaming be- gangs out there just shooting people. And yeah, and we've seen like like creatures out there. Yeah. Now, the person out like they told us about a person that's on our list, but these people aren't on our list, right? No, these people are on your list. They are on our list? Okay. But they're not everyone on your list. Yeah. So you heard the conversation. Basically, some of them went away to their hotel to try and get their kids. Apparently, their kids were here too. Kids aren't on the list. (laughs) Okay. Uh, All right. And so how many i'm trying to think if we've if we'd even be able to fit all of them in the hussy yeah that's that's like the how, question that's the question yeah the so hussy. there's four of them here, and that. then there's four more elsewhere um there's four here and there's four more i think i mean i think that could but i mean like all yeah. the people who aren't on the list is the problem right mm-hmm. so okay so Gantu i can will get say, one on the back of my bike <laughs> i only Gantu have one extra say, helmet now, don't worry. I know y'all are scared. I know there's a lot of there's a lot of crazy things that are happening right now, but I I can rest assured. I can tell you that we are the cavalry. We're coming here. We're gonna help you all out. We're gonna do this in waves. Okay. We're gonna take a couple now. There's only so much room in the truck. The rest of you are gonna hunker down uh, here in the bowling alley where it seems pretty safe. Bar you know barricade the doors and everything. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll give you. You know, give her our contact. If you can stay in contact with us, stay in radio contact. And, you know, and once we get this first group in, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to come on back for, for the next one. Okay. Now this is, we're professionals. You've done this a lot. Okay. We will keep you safe. I promise you no problem whatsoever. So I'm going to need these people and I'm going to read the names uh, of the people that are on our list. All right. Well, she says, well, these well, the four of us are here. Okay. Uh, the other four on your list, um, uh, yeah, like uh, that asshole from sales was saying, uh, they went to our hotel. It's four blocks that way. It's a, it's a Hyatt. Okay. Um, that was hours ago, though. Well, uh, that's not a problem. Uh, you're just gonna you can come with us. Help us find that. If you come with us, we can get y'all out of the city faster. You know, like otherwise we're going to be wandering okay. around this way and that. I'll uh, tell you what, um, g- make me a role here to try and convince her. Um, cause you don't, you don't have any identification. You're obviously not a police officer. You're not wearing military fatigues. I mean, right. that's not outside of her belief structure because the corpse would maybe have sent a team like this, but, uh, yeah, let, let's, let's have something for convincing here. Okay. So I'm trying to do cokes, I guess. Uh, and then uh, I've got um, I've got savvy. So I think I'm trying to like get them to come without like necessarily taking everybody. So cokes uh, is probably the verb. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cokes would be definitely the verb for this. And I'm thinking, uh, what do you have, uh, adjective? Oh, let's, let's go over this real quick. I, I almost forgot about this because, uh, we, we did do a few things wrong, um, last session. Uh, so if you guys will look at the screen over here, um, the dice that you have on, by your names, that's your, uh, your push dice. Okay. So you have six of them. Um, as you use them, as you discharge them, you move them over to the discharge, the uh, the important thing system wise is for every adjective or any item that you can bring into a roll, you may you may use one of your push die and roll it. The reason you may not want to is when you're defending against someone, it's the unused push dice that are still in your active pile that you use to help defend with. Okay, the reason you would use the push die in a roll is one, it gives you more dice to roll, but two you can make a condition that you're putting on someone sticky or permanent. Okay. So uh, definitely coax is your verb. So however many right. dice you have in that. Right. 
And then and I would say either, I mean, I have a couple different ones that could apply, but I think I just would pull from one of them. Uh, if she's worried about me looking appropriate, I do have tough. Uh, so I do think if she's concerned about whether or not like I'm capable, but I also have gregarious where I'm just a kind of a likable guy and I'm also savvy. So I feel like I can sort of navigate the, like a, like sort of the waters of a, of a conversation of a delicate conversation. So whichever one of those you think is is most applicable. Uh, you tell me. You you pick. Because it, uh, it's how you can describe what you're doing that matters. Okay. I, I think savvy. Because I think it's this is about getting them just, be, just trying to be delicate and avoid any potential, you know, things that are going to offend, offend folks or something like okay. that. Okay. So you have six push dice, up to six you can use. And you, you've tagged uh, one adjective so far? Yeah, I'll just I'll tag that, and I'll and I guess I'll tag gregarious as well. So I'm you know likable and you know that kind of thing. Sure. Um, let's see. So for gone to here, uh, I'm just going to pull two of the dice over here to show that you're using them in the roll. Yeah. And then go ahead and make your roll. Make sure that you put two charge dice. Uh, I don't yep. believe anyone has any negative attributes on them right now. No. Except for okay. scout, who permanently has the disadvantage of being scout. Yes. <laughs> All right. So here it goes. Okay. Uh, looks like you do have some hurt dice on your sheet anyway. Um, Are you supposed to? I don't think no, you are hurt. I, no, that, that's push die. I think it's... Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you. It, the hurt dice are still below it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, six point. Uh, okay. So uh, she's a pretty savvy customer. Uh, she had a four, but you definitely breached that. So your mannerism and what you're saying is like, Okay, yeah. So uh, it was so the corp hired a uh, team to come and extract us. Is that what I'm I'm hearing here? You got it. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. We are well, that team. You seem very professional. Uh, look, I I need water. You would not believe how bad the food in a bowling alley is if you've got to eat it for several days. Um, I've got a condition. Like, you know, I haven't had that kidney replacement yet. We're supposed to have it next week, but. We got, yeah, we got I supplies. would want to go out of here as soon as possible, sir. No problem. We got supplies on the truck. No problem. Uh, Might we'll, even have an extra kidney back there. <laughs> I mean, we de I, I definitely know where we can get to that uh, no one would miss. But uh, we do. We we can get some. We got some supplies where you can get some water. No problem. Hundred bits. That's two re rolls. Uh, just somebody note that somewhere. You got two re rolls. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah, she's willing to go. Uh, everyone else, well, they may be, but they're really drunk. She's the only one that seems to have not been imbibing. And you know, you you can see just there's empty bottles just litter, littered everywhere. It looks like they've been living off the alcohol <laughs> for the last few days. Yeah. It might have water in it, but it kind of dehydrates you. Yeah, we don't need to get that. into this too much. Why don't you just... Okay, uh, that's all right. Uh, Ivan, can you come escort this uh, this young lady here onto the onto the truck? I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of them. Uh, Scout, you might want to come back and give me a hand. Yeah, uh, I, I was just in the lobby, like not too far away. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to just do a quick scan of the horizon outside the building before I come back and help. Ah, as I was about to say, Ivan and Kaylee back in the van uh ivan sees them first because ivan's probably more aware of what's going on beyond the windshield kaylee's probably scouting the local network to see what interesting things is going on uh kaylee to that effect there are uh pirate broadcasts being put out from groups of people who have sequestered themselves into various buildings uh asking for aid sending out distress calls a uh, few of them uh apparently have linked up and they're just kind of baiting each other over the over the comms uh, so there are pockets of people still around and they've kind of just hacked into the system using it as best they can, but no one's able to get a message outside. Ivan coming about a block away. There is a mass of shambling zombies for, you know, as you, as you name them, uh, heading yeah. in your direction. Uh, they're moving very slowly. Uh, you're not even sure that they're being attracted <laughs> to your place specifically but you're in the way of their path i'm coming in but i must give warning there is a whole lot of zombies uh incoming we've got just a few minutes till they arrive 
Okay, we got a double time in here, folks. Uh, Ma'am, could you uh, just head on out right there? Follow, follow Scout right down, and I'll just kind of point wherever yeah, Scout she, went. She, yeah, doesn't need any convincing. She goes right, and then I'll start kind of trying to to rouse the drunkards and be like, "All right, fellas, uh, plenty of plenty of coffee and such on the truck. Let's go. We got to get y'all uh, hydrated yeah. and, and and go. Come on, h- hustle up. Let's go." The one that was rolling balls down the alley is he kind of gets up, vomits a little bit, but is staggering with some okay, help away go. uh Appreciate the other woman doing that here is completely out uh like she is just non-responsive um i'll pick her up and i'll pull her over guy. my shoulder so um do you have any medical training uh no uh i don't yeah i don't think i have anything like that okay uh she's like dead weight in your arms like you just throw her she doesn't respond at all um, I mean, she's warm. Okay. All right. I'll just put, pick her over. I'm like, we got it. We got unconscious one Good here. Enough. So make make some room. Like, <laughs> throw her over, the, over the shoulder at this point. If I could uh, grab the uh, fat orc uh, in the lobby area mm-hmm. and bring him to the truck, and then I'd like to find a nice firing position to cover us if we need to. Okay, Uh, no one's immediately around you. Space is going to cause a problem here. So I imagine that your truck is about the size of a white panel van. Fair? Uh, Hang on, let me see what I got here. I think it's... So... Did you get any adjectives? It's it's huge. Yeah, I have a lot of... It's huge. Uh, So that's one of the tags I have on it. Okay, so that might even be like a SWAT tactical van, which will easily fit eight people in it. Yeah. Okay, Um, so when Scout comes out with the orc, uh, who's twice the size (laughs) of everyone else, you know, you're a little like, "Eh," but, you know, you've got room, you think. Uh, And Scout, you're you're just having to manhandle, uh, or troll (laughs) handle this guy the whole way. You gotta work on my cardio. Yeah, (laughs) he's he's barely responsive, but he kind of does, you know, on his wobbly legs, you can kind of lead him to the van. Yeah, uh, get him in the van. I really don't care where he gets set up, and then I just want to keep an eye out in case uh, they get here any faster. Okay. Ivan, the shambling corpses are a little closer now that you can get a little bit better view of them. Instead of it just being a mass of people, you can kind of see them more clearly. Uh, Again, they look like, you know, the bodies look desiccated, dead, and like they're just moving this jerky kind of rhythm. But you're also seeing like insects, flying ones, kind of, coming out of ears out of noses it's like there's a kind of like a miasma of flying insects that are just like at a head level above all of this undead uh yes this is bad they are sprouting insects like should i fireball I mean, when they get in range, that uh, they. Well, that is just your answer to everything. Should I fireball? Should I fireball? It is a good answer to many of life's little problems. When all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. That's all I'm saying. Says the guy who had to tap in because he couldn't talk to people and convince them to come on the rescue van. Uh, Yeah. Gone to as you're talking over comms, you're bringing the one girl that slung over your shoulders. You put her down, and when you do so, you notice that uh, in the better light, because the, the bowling alley was fairly dark with just neon, she looks really pale. Like she does not look good. Uh, someone want to take take a look at this young lady here? She uh, she looks pretty darn uh, pretty darn terrible, and I have no idea what to do. Uh, I know CPR. Well, does, does Scout have any kind of medical background? Did you pick just any the, adjectives that? No, just the very briefest what they taught me as a, a police officer. Okay. Um, yeah, that actually, it, it, it's enough. Uh, you can tell that it looks like it looks like she's suffering from blood loss, uh, but you don't see any obvious wounds on her, and her her pulse is very thready. It, it's like it's weak and it just kind of comes and goes. 
you would say that this is uh, someone that has is bleeding out. You don't see any wounds anywhere. Uh, I think she needs blood. Do you have any we could? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that upgrade. Well, then I'm not sure how much we can do for her. I say we put her in the van and. I think we, we just need to get everyone on the van because there's a big old. That's what horde I just said. Except, I, I know. Let's just. I, let's you just hear this? I, I throw out an idea and then he throws out the idea and takes credit for it. It does sound better second time. Yeah, you can true. put I'll her right it. next to me. <laughs> well, okay, Kaylee, I put her on the far volunteer. side of the van. <laughs> Gantel will put the body right next to Kayla. Like, thanks for keeping an eye on her. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Gives her a wink. <laughs> you get Not everybody on board, <laughs> including the uh, drunk orc uh, <laughs> bartender. Uh, you just kind of lay him on the floor. Uh, Was everyone's that actually in. on the extraction Ivan, list? They're, or they're did I just kidnap away. someone? <laughs> did you just kidnap someone? Probably. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, they're about a block away, Ivan, and you can see that the swarm uh, is kind of moving out in and out of the bodies. Like, they go into ears, they come out the other side. Uh, it, it's a little eerie. Yeah. Um, we, yeah, just, I'm going to, we, we got to go. This is not good. Also, this bloody lady's sketchy as hell. So, once we're all safely in the tank... Uh, I'm going to slip Astral just for a second so I can take a look at her. Yeah, I think I'll look at her astrally as well to sort of get a sense of what's going on here. Yeah, so for both the of the record, me, I'm on the motorcycle. Kaylee doesn't have to go Astral. You can see Aura's just being dual-natured. She is dying. Like you, you no doubt of it. It actually makes you, you know, a little hungry. <laughs> she is dying, absolutely. Um, doesn't tell you, you know, why looking at her Aura, but is dying. Ivan, uh, if you want to go astral? Uh, well, mention I would mention it, but when Kaylee says I can just look and see, then I'll probably pass. Cause okay. Last thing I want is another bug chase scene. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no astral for me. I'll yeah. take Kaylee's word. So no one has a profession at all that has a background or an adjective that would make any of you useful with medical no yep okay We're uh nothing at... on the van itself no objects for medical we uh... really weren't expecting to get hurt <laughs> i don't We're... know why we weren't expecting it but unless i get like uh, some sort of medical knowledge thing that can be input into a no buy wire i got nothing well no, i mean objects. i know kung fu it it is yeah. a luxury hauler <laughs> as well that's one of my tags. I don't know yeah, if they come. Just, that, yeah, that yeah. just means it's comfortable, really. But yeah, uh, yeah. I got nothing. No, I nothing specific. Oh, well, I mean, you do you do know that there's still hospitals around. I mean, you don't know if there's staff, but there are hospitals around. Uh, are you we, don't are know we that she's going to make it out of the city. Is, is what I'm getting at. If you yeah. don't get her some aid. Yeah, I think I think we need to just move first. Like, let's just get on the road and away from this horde, and then. Uh, and then we can we can worry about that. Like we can see if there's anything between here and where that high it is. Uh, but if we stay here any longer, then there might be more people dying on us. So, okay, who's driving? Uh, Gantu drives. Gantu. All right. As soon as you uh, like, you probably left it idling the whole time. As, you, as soon as you start moving, though. Uh, Ivan, you're kind of keeping track of that mass of uh, zombies. Mm -hmm. We'll just keep calling them zombies. And so they were just kind of meandering in your general direction. But as yeah. soon as your vehicle starts moving, it's eerie as like all the heads crane to follow your vehicle all as one, all as one mind. Uh, yes, they are definitely zooming in on us. We have been made. Uh, Scout, you should get on that big gun and unalive them all again. I'm on the motorcycle, I thought. Oh my gosh, Scout, you're killing uh, We had the motorcycle in the van before. Yeah, we which you would definitely have to out. take out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, then I will get on the big gun. <laughs> okay. I tell you what, uh, they, as, you, as you're starting moving, once they kind of like got the scent, 
they stop their shambling and they just tear after you incredibly fast uh faster than human body can really move because they don't care that they're breaking bones splintering shins they just yeah. move with uh, just great. an unnatural speed uh, so if you want to get on the gun and uh, place some kind of adjective on them to slow them down, otherwise, uh, Gantu can try to outrun them, but they are just going amazingly fast. Ivan, you, you want to try and gun some down? I really, like, I'm looking at this gun and I'm like... Because it's like an internal turret thing, right? It's not actually like getting up top yeah, yeah. It, it, you've got the remote inside, I would imagine, and then it's got a, a cupola outside. So you don't have to go out. Yeah, you don't have to go out. I'm actually really terrible at shooting things. So I'm like looking at these controls like I'm so confused. I don't know what button does what. Um, I'm just going to open the back door and fireball. <laughs> okay, uh, that works too. So put together your pool. Yeah. Uh, how much of your dice do you want to add to the pool there? Well, uh, what adjectives let's... do you want to tap first? Let's put it that way. So, so I got shoot, I got mage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so with shoot, I got three. That mage is one, right? And well, the then... so uh, what verb are we using to cast a spell? I, I can't look at my sheet right now. Um, what did we uh, say for that? I got, uh, I've got fireball and for the tags on that range, sneaky mass and persistent. Is that what you're going for? No. So we need the verb first. Uh, so let me look at your sheet for Ivan, the yeah. magic man. Ivan, the um, magic man. Yeah. So shoot makes sense as your verb. And that's fine. So however many dice you have in that, and then you're going to tag your fireball, um, which is one adjective. Uh, what else mm -hmm. did you want to tag? Uh, fireball, and then do I get to throw in my secondary terms under fireball? Uh, well, no, that this just kind of describes what your fireball can do, it, okay. it allows you to add more dice. So, other than fireball, do you have anything else, any other adjective there that would help you shoot a fireball at people? No, no, nope. uh, okay. Just, just... So, you can add up to one of your six dice to this roll if you want, okay. Uh, over there. So shoots three fireball would be four. So what is uh what what tags do you have on fireball? Range, sneaky, mass, and persistent. Okay, mass and persistent are what's going to help you here because right. you'll be able to get all the zombies. And persistent means they'll keep burning. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so if I understand correctly, that's going to be a base of four die. Four die. Mm -hmm. So why don't I throw, oh. I'll use two of my six. Okay, so you need another adjective to use another one of your dice. You got anything else you can throw out there? No, I don't think so. You don't have an adjective describing you as being a magical person? I have mage. Yeah, yeah mage, that works. Okay. So we'll put two. Okay. All right. So charge two dice and go ahead and roll that pole. All right. So... Do I just roll the two or do I roll? Okay, you should put two into the uh, the box that says uh, charged. Hang on. Uh, I'm figuring it out. Yep, it's been a bit, I know. So two gonna, and charged, cool. I'm going to put your sheet on the screen. Yeah, so two uncharged, and yeah. then you uh, click on where it says shoot, cool. and that should do you. All right. I got four, one, and two. Zero dice. Does it not work? Uh, it didn't come through. Oh, there it is. Yep. Uh, so four, one, and two, your push dice. How come your push dice didn't come through? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, we got two in there. Let me try that on. Oh, here. But when it says input oh, value, you have to okay. put two. So we'll just reroll that. There we go. Five, four, two, three, three. So the five is a success. Okay. Um, so the mass part adjective allows you to hit the whole group. 
And the yeah. persistent was the important part because that's going to take them. They can't just shrug off the fire. They've got to deal with the fire. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to get them off your tail. So there we go. Uh, fireball goes off. Starts burning what's left of their clothing, and they've got to stop and nice. kind of deal with it because they can't uh, they can't see, and the rest of the flesh is burning off. So there we go, and you guys go along your way. Um, where are you heading? So I think Gantu, like, while once once we're driving away, at that point he'll say to Kaylee, like, Kaylee, can you see if there's like some kind of like urgent care or something between here and that high? Certainly. Um, I'll, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of what I would uh, actually look up for that. Um, I guess uh, if there's just like a local, yeah, local directory, directory for the, yeah. That works. Uh, yeah, any of the local stuff you can pull it up just fine on the local networks. The closest thing between you and the Hyatt is a veterinary clinic. That works. Okay. Uh, well, hold on. Are there any pirate signals nearby saying things like help people are attacking? That is a very good question. Um, yeah. No, not between you and the Hyatt and where the veterinary clinic is. It's actually, as far as you can tell, quiet. There's nobody broadcasting. Which is either really good or awful. So prepare for either a smooth ride or a lot of danger, but you can go uh, down this road here and um, I'm sure you'll see it when it pops up. But yes, there's some medical facility there. Yes, ma'am. Craning the wheel and like, yeah, you see it. You see the sign for it. It's a 24 Leaning hour veterinary it. clinic. The lights are still on. Uh, the windows though have all been kind of covered up. Like you see, of uh, like various posters and just furniture that's all been pushed up against the window so that you can't see inside. Okay. Uh Haven, can you uh can you take a take a look see inside? Absolutely I can. And I'll kick back in my chair and go astral. Okay. Uh go astral. It has no defense against that, so you pop through. Um take a look so there is one dwarf there who is like just shirtless he's wearing his skivvies and he's got like dog leashes he's got like 20 dogs <laughs> all around him and like he's he's looking every once in a while he moves like a, a, a blind or a piece of uh, paper out of the way to look through a window Well, I'll go back and be like, there's a dude, he looks bananas. He's in there just in his underoos, and he's got like 20 dogs around him, but he's in there. Dogs? Well, we know everything there to know about dogs. Yeah, the best That's scout true. there is. We should have brought true. scout. They could have done. Never mind. Could Never have. mind. Mm. Um, Gantu will, I mean, Gantu will hop out and find the door. Yeah. So he'll back. He'll do the same thing. He'll like it. He's just going to regularly kind of back the, you know, back this up in a way that like we can get out quickly. We can take off. Sure. Quickly, kind of yeah. Thing. And then he'll, um, he'll find the door. He'll bang on it and he'll just call out and be like, Hey, I don't mean to alarm anybody, but we could use some first aid out here. If anyone's inside, beg your mercy. You uh, hear a bunch of barking, and then uh, pretty clearly you hear a voice call out, What's the password? Well, uh, credits, money, you just name a price. What's money good for? Ain't nothing well, working around here. All the terminals are down. You got food? You got bullets? I got a way out. Got food, got bullets. Just uh, need you to open that door. All right, so like you see a piece of paper that's covering the window kind of curl up, and you see this eyeball of a guy that's about your height. Kind of look through, he looks at your van, he kind of looks at you. It's like, medical attention, what do you got to barter with? Well, you said you need bullets, you said you need food. Uh, we got some food. Ivan, we got any food in there? I'm sure there's food in here, yes. It's a luxury van, so you got things like 
caviar containers, bottles of wine. <laughs> we got all the finest, friend. All the finest. Give him some wine. He'll appreciate that. We got some wine. We got some caviar. The fanciest things for the end of the world, right? All right, all right, all right. I can't tear it down on an injured animal, I suppose. All right, stand back. Stand back. Oh, okay. So he opens the door, and like there's like a mass of dogs like yipping at you, but they're not like fierce at all. They're like sniffing at you. They're wagging their tails. Who's a good boy? Who's a good girl? Oh, look at these dogs. Oh man, I miss Scout. Oh man. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, what am I working on? Dog, cat, uh, well, person. Yeah, person. Yes. Well, hell, I wouldn't have opened the door for a person. Well, good thing right. we didn't tell you. Uh, she's badly injured, and you're the only one who can help. Well, there's only one way to resolve this. Clementine, come here, girl. Big German shepherd wanders up. What, Sniff's what? gone, too. Licks his hand. All right. All right, I'll help you. Nice. Good job, Gantel. Good girl. Good girl. I love me dogs. They're good. Can I can I pet your dogs too? He hands over like five leashes to you. Here, <laughs> hold these. Do it. I'm, I'm gonna go get the operating center set up. I, I need okay. a little bit more room for oh, it's not that orc back there. There's no way I can get him on the operating table. No, no, it's lady. I know I wish it was him, believe me, but no, it's not. Uh, Do you have right, any well, dead cats I could borrow, perhaps? Oh <laughs> cats are plenty. Dante, <laughs> I think he was talking I about the other work. Hey, Gantu, I have a question. Yeah. Does the best scout need friends at home? I Do I not even we get... think about stealing those dogs. I would I never mean, steal it. We should get more, though, for him. That's for sure. I agree with that. Especially when we leave like this, but I don't know. I was just going to ask if any of these poor animals are currently up for adoption. Maybe we could just take them with us now. Oh, that's a good idea. That way we don't have to come back later when, you know, the bugs destroy everything else in town. I agree. So he comes back out after a minute. He says, I'm Phil, by the way. He hasn't put a shirt on yet or pants, uh, but he has put on his medical gown he's pulling gloves on uh he's got like a, a medical suite which you know camera little eyepiece got readouts and stuff like that uh yeah I, I put a couple of tables together bring her on back okay uh i'll grab her and i'll shout out to scout like keeping on things shout out something you see something so i'll, I'll carry her in all right i'll keep an uh, eye on things and shout out if i see something I missed all the chattering. Like there's dogs everywhere, and so he's had he has to give all of you guys the leashes to keep keep control of all the dogs. Uh, so he goes to work. Uh, he does a little bit of exploring. Uh, who's with with him in there? Anyone? Get, get I don't want to be with him in there, but I want to be like uh, basically. I just want to be hacking into the subnet of the vet to see what all information I could steal. Yeah, you don't have to hack anything. He does, he's his network isn't even protected. There's customer information, there's billing information. Um, nothing really useful. Other than it looks like he's probably selling some some drugs off the records. The inventory doesn't quite match. <laughs> you know, I'll take uh, inventory for a lot of those medical supplies then. I will copy down a lot of that billing information because I doubt anybody's going to be using it in about <laughs> 74 hours um yeah yeah there you go yeah be, so i'm out in the lobby getting to know all the dogs oh yeah oh, which they're ones happy to have somebody else yeah. to glom on it looks like they've been pretty well cared for actually uh That's there are intense. other pets that are still in cages but uh yeah so gone to he tells you like oh uh she's she's got some internal bleeding uh, I can do some surgery. I can stop that, but she's going to need some blood, and I don't have human blood here. I mean, uh, you can take some of mine, I guess. Oh, it's not going to be compatible. Oh, yeah, I'm a dwarf. That's right. 
I keep forgetting that. Uh, let's see. I'm an orc. Kaylee's we a ghoul. So that I, have people. <laughs> I thought you were an elf. No, I'm 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 human. Oh, that's right. It was Techno that was an elf. That's right. Yeah. Uh, no elf uh, would be caught yeah. dead in a tracksuit like that. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. They couldn't pull it off. <laughs> I can agree. I don't know. Do Techno used beach. to like roll around in like mud and stuff, right? Uh, yeah. Hey, Ivan, uh, we're going to need a donation from you inside. What? This is it's bad luck. I mean, like, I don't know these people. They could use it against me later. Is it's it required bad luck to donate blood? Is it required for us to get paid? Well, it's an eighth of your total payout if she dies. <laughs> All right, I'm in there. I got my <laughs> sleeves rolled up. <laughs> All right, uh, Chuck, um, just make me a luck check here. High or low, roll me a D100. Uh, let's go high. Okay. I got a 62. Okay. Hey. All right, so you're not a perfect match for her blood type, but he can take blood serum uh, that will help. Uh, maybe long enough to get her patched up enough that she could survive until you get her out of here. So yeah, the, the, he'll start drawing from you then. Uh, you're, it's just going to take a little bit of time. He doesn't want to go too fast. So he's like, hey, I'd give you a cookie. Uh, he gives you a dog treat. It'll work the same. They just don't flavor these things, but they're fine. I heard they put charcoal in some of them to keep people from eating them. Yeah, you get used to it. <clears throat> um, okay. yeah, just, just here, you're gonna you're gonna need this in a bit. <laughs> I will. If it's good enough for the best scout, it's good enough for me. Yeah. Uh, he looks over to Gon too and says, "Look, this is going to take a few hours. We don't want to draw off too much too quickly, and uh, I've got to pull the serum out of the blood to give to her. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's going to take a bit. I don't know if you want to wait here or not, but how long do you need Ivan for? Like, can can you just take it? Oh, can... it's twenty minutes, and then after that, I'm just going to centrifuge the blood off and get what I need out of it. Okay." Okay, do that. We'll uh, okay. We'll uh, we'll we'll help uh, secure the place then before we leave. And then we're gonna come back. We got a few other folks to go get. So can we leave her here with you then, and we can come back and you know, a couple yeah, hours yeah, maybe yeah, leave a few yeah, other yeah, folks fine. too. I see. Scout is uh is is uh, comforting one of the dogs. Uh, <laughs> Uh, could we leave the the rest of the the people we picked up too? I mean, we could. The only danger is, is that it was enough difficulty kind of getting them all together to begin with. We want do we want to let them all out of our sight? Well, I mean, we're letting some of them out of our sight. We might as well. We're coming back anyways, right? We might as well clear up van space in case. Uh, Sorry for the yawning dog. <laughs> Might as well clear up van space to make room for more people, right? Well, we're letting one out here because if we didn't, she would die. Uh, that's the only one that's gotten out. And uh, yeah, but like you know the the orc, you know he counts for two, and then there's a couple others that are just sleeping anyways. With you on the bike outside the van, we got enough space to get the rest of the folks we need. Okay, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm just throwing out ideas, you know. See what sticks to the wall. We'll we'll do what God too says, like always. Okay. Yeah. And I think I, I agree with Ivan. I think we should probably keep him with us for now. Probably better. Do we that have way. to take the orc with us. Uh yeah, Scout's been with us for a while now, so I guess <laughs> All right. you know. That, yeah, that makes sense. No, he's talking about the other orc. How do you get me confused with other orcs and dogs? I don't get you confused with a dog. It, it, there's a very clear distinction between the two of you. You see, I could never confuse scout. you with another orc. <laughs> you see, the best scout uh, is delightful to be around. Uh, and you, uh, well, you're you. 
Well, you know, not all orcs look the same. All right. That's all I got to say. So I have a, do you eat the dog biscuit? Yeah. I'm muted. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. No negative adjective on you then. Uh, it does. Okay. It tastes awful, but it, it, does. it does have enough sugar in it to, you know, get you moving again. Cool. You drew off a fair amount, but uh, you're okay. All right. I can handle that. All right. So if you leave her here, he said, yeah, um, to make this safe, give me a couple hours. Uh, come back. She should be okay. I mean, it's a past job. She's going to need a real hospital, but it'll stabilize her. All right. Well, we appreciate that, Phil. And if if you hear any hint of anything, any trouble, and you, you hit us up on the horn, all right, and we'll come back and give you a hint. Are you just handing out your PAN numbers for these people to call you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He takes your PAN down, make sure that it works. All right. Yeah. Good enough. Okay. Good dog. Good dog. I, uh, <laughs> pat on a few heads. Yeah. yeah, I've picked out three or four that I think I'm going to take with me. <laughs> nice. That German Shepherd. Uh, Absolutely. We had a moment, you know. Like it, you do. It was <laughs> magic in the air, you know. It was. Right. Uh, Could I swipe some in. anesthetics? <laughs> you want to swipe some anesthetics? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It might. It looks like he might have been using some of the drugs in the cabinet for recreational purposes. Well, then maybe well. he'll think he took more than he did, so that works. <laughs> All right, yeah, you, sw- you swipe some drugs. Uh, that's an object. You got some drugs. Okay. You hop back in the in your your luxury van and you finish off heading off to the hotel. Um, as you get closer to the hotel, uh, you do notice something very interesting. It looks like there's a perimeter of these shamblers around the outside. Um, and they are just kind of walking around in circles in front of like where you would enter the whole first floor. They're just kind of walking around. There's maybe 20, 30 of them. They're just circling. Hey, Scott, you want to uh, make use of that there motorbike and maybe lure a few of these away? I mean, like, we were hitting 40 to outrun those zombies before, and that's, like, the fastest I've ever gone. I'm not really comfortable with that. He's not wrong. <laughs> I mean, like, if I have to, I can. But do we have to? Like, there, there's got to be other options, right? Well, I'm afraid that if Ivan goes to fireball them, you're going to use some sort of sarcastic response that might damage his mental health, and I would like Ivan to remain in a positive framework right now for the remainder of the mission. I would just like to point out that I totally forgot that I have a healing spell. (laughs) You have more than one spell? I do, I do, and one of them is healing. It was the blood draw that reminded you. It's like, there's got to be an easier way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a thing I can do. Uh, so Ivan gives the blood and then heals himself to make up for the blood draws. <laughs> uh, it's a ways uh, I, can, I can help here. Scout, Scout would be willing to uh, use the, the motorcycle to try and lead him off. All right, you want to do that? Uh, so you want to kind of just kind of go ahead of the van and then lead them off as best you can. Okay. Uh, I want to coax roll. And then whatever adjectives you can add onto that to make yourself loud, noisy, and obnoxious to get their attention. You should auto pass. Okay. I am <laughs> auto pass, yeah. large sure. and aggressive. Uh, so let's use those two then. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then coax. Coax. So you want to. So use I need to make sure I push those two, and then I. Two. All right. All right. All right. Uh, three, one, two, three, two fours though. So four point one. Okay. I love that um, it shows up my screen name instead of Scout. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure why it does that. That's interesting. That's uh, my my aim. Uh, username okay huh interesting um 
So 4.1, let me think for a minute. Um, Because I have push dice too. Uh, You know, a four is what I was looking for. You got a 4.1. They're slow to move. But after a few, what do you do to be obnoxious? Like, like, spell it out for us. What does this look like? Yeah, so it's actually entirely unintentional. Um, I'm revving the engine as loud as I can, uh, wondering why my motorcycle is not going, uh, (laughs) not realizing I have my foot on the brake. Uh, So that engine is just roaring, roaring, roaring. And then I accidentally let off uh, the brake, and then I, like, go forward and do like a little baby wheelie before I'm able to get control of it. All right. Uh, it's successful. Uh, it takes a moment, but eventually you get all 20 of them tearing after you. And uh, despite their kind of lurching movements, once they've locked onto a target, just unnaturally quick, they're just charging after your motorcycle. We'll make you make a roll here in a bit to see if you can outrun them or not. But for right now, coast is clear. Scout has successfully irritated this mob to chase after him, which is nothing new. <laughs> well, GMs are Andrews. supposed to be impartial. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> throwing that out there. I feel like I threw it out really? there a lot, but I'm throwing it out there again. Really? GMs are supposed to be impartial. Oh I know. God. I'm not sure where he gets that. I, I, I don't. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> huh. Oh my gosh, it's still so fresh. All right, what do you guys do? <laughs> uh, can we see? Uh, so, so they uh, have they all left? Is like, is there? A, like, They're all they one? all tore after Scout. They're all gone. Uh, I will uh, speed the uh, the hall area here up to the dr- the baggage drop off point uh, and see if we can see in the lobby at all. Sure, uh, everything is darked out kaylee your pan is registering a local distress call from the building uh the building is on security lockdown and it it is the building is calling for help it seems that there is a police can barely hear you there Seems there is police worthy interference happening with this building, but uh, no actual person behind it, perhaps. Uh, actually, by the way it's acting, you think it either is an automated response system or the building has a rigor. Could be either one. That could be, yeah. Do we know the. Um... Do we know the rooms or floors or anything of the people that were coming to get? They're back there. You can ask them. So, yeah, I mean, they yeah. tell you they they were on the fifth and sixth floors. Uh, their group had the both floors owned by Seder Group. Mm. Can you get a, any kind of internal uh, uh, view of the stuff inside there, Kaylee? Any any footage, any cameras still working on the inside? Do we know what? Kaylee, you'll have to hack like it uh, as it's on security lockdown. So if you want to make me a hacking roll there. Absolutely. There we are. Um, hmm. Now, what can I use for uh, objects to increase my die value for this? Uh, well, obviously, your cyber deck will help. Um, so... You have you can tag up to six, six adjectives to add up to six dice, but you may want to save some back in case there actually is a rigor attached to the building because they might respond back. Um, hmm. In that case, I'll add uh, two. I'll add encryption and firewall to this. Okay, are they both on your cyber deck? Yes. All right, so the cyber deck is just one object, so that's one tag. The adjectives attached to that cyber tech basically give you the scope of what it can do, but it's still one or, tag. So do you have another? No, I, I'm sorry. Uh, not adjectives. Those are the tags on my cyber deck. Right. So the cyber tech you can tag to add one die. Um, do you have anything else you can tag to add another die? Um, Any adjective that you have attached to your person that makes un- sense? Untraceable, maybe? Will help get in secretly, sure. Yeah. 
Beyond that, no. Okay. So uh, you can add two dice to your uh, hack verb. All so right. under How do I your, add said? So under where it says push or charged, uh, make sure that says two. And then just click the the uh, the verb uh, hack, and it should roll the correct number of dice. Uh, no, did not. Uh, it's still not rolling the push. To, oh, yes, yeah, right. It asks for. Okay, hold on a second. So when you click hack, it asks for the number of push dice. You have to say two, and then hit submit. Right. So you got a six. Um, there is a rigor there. So when you get in, uh, you notice that it is actively being monitored. There is someone there scanning on all channels, trying to get signals out, trying to uh, retask satellites to get signals out, and it, and they're preoccupied. So your target was going to be a five. You got a six, so you're in. Since you tagged untraceable, you're unnoticed. But there is a live person in there uh, rigging the building. So you're in, uh, you can access cameras. Uh, you're looking through everything. Like you're going from floor to floor. There's signs that there's been a battle in here because you're seeing bodies on the floor. Uh, yeah. So what are you looking for specifically? Uh, fifth and sixth floor. Um, see the general condition of those. Okay. Uh, you get on the fifth and sixth floor, take a look around. The fifth floor uh, has people moving around. Uh, you see there's four people, uh, two men, uh, two ladies, and four children. Uh, they're all kind of camped out in the hallway, and it looks like they just have a pile of stuff that they are pulling out from other appoint uh, apartment rooms. And it looks like they're sorting through like medical gear, food, Shoving things into pillowcases and backpacks, it looks like they're they're packing up to leave. In the sixth floor, sixth floor empty. It's like you don't see any movement on the sixth floor at all, other than like again signs that people have gone through here, had firefights. Uh, like you're seeing bullet holes, doors wrecked and kicked down. Okay, well, let's see. Um, I guess I'll start uh, scanning other locations. Uh, if there's like a security, um, there is a station. secure. Uh, the basement is a secure level. Uh, it has a parking garage as well. Uh, the rigor, the building rigor, is in the secure floor. Um, it's basically you know looking at what you can from the cameras. It's a sealed off room, just one entrance, one exit, and it's built like a vault. And he's operating from in there. Mm. Would there be a way to get in? Uh, well, I don't know. I guess I'll plug back out of the system here. And mm -hmm. um, there has been fighting inside. Lots of bodies all over the place. But there are people on the fifth floor packing up, getting ready to uh, loot to survive and perhaps flee. There is a rigor in there responsible for putting out the distress signal. How would we like to proceed with this information? Well, I mean, the, the first option is just contact and say, hey, rescue van is here. Bring out your people. Up front, direct, honest. I like it. Oh, <laughs> Scout, you're saying that over your comms as you're trying to outrun uh, oh, yeah. really fast undead <laughs> behind you. I forget I'm still on the motorcycle. <laughs> we'll find out how bad off you are in a minute. You sound calm. <laughs> you sound calm. <laughs> Did you see many people in there besides our targets? Uh, they were all dead, yes. So our, our targets are living, but everyone else is dead. Four adults, uh, two men, two women, and four children who I didn't get a good enough look at. Can we confirm that versus our list? Actually, you can show the video on your pan if you want. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, those are the other four employees. Okay. Any signs of what killed them people? Oh, and by the way, what Kaylee effectively did was add an adjective to the building—a back door. 
Oh, good. So that's. Uh, it looked like they died from some sort of fighting. Okay. People fighting people or monster bug fighting? Right. Uh, hold on a second. And I'll use the back door to get back in and see if I can't like zoom in on some of these. There's a lot of bullet holes in walls. Um, you haven't seen these creatures shooting guns, so... <laughs> it looks like a military cleanup, maybe. Or right. uh, very zealous, trigger-happy morons. I mean, there's gangs and stuff yeah. roaming, too. Okay, That is true, yes. We can try to go quick and quiet. All Kelly right. can be our eyes. Ivan and I can go in. Hey. I'm good with this. Uh, let's see what we can do. All right, let's cut scenes for a moment. Scout, uh, you need to do something to get them off your trail. You can try to outrun them, or you can try to do something else. What do you think you want to do? They're, they are fast enough to keep up with and perhaps catch your bike. That's not good. Um, I do want to note that I am wearing a helmet. Just throwing that out there for you know <laughs> future reference. So um, as you're running all the red lights, <laughs> the cameras will note that you're wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I guess it would be like an operate check to try and get out of there. Yeah. I, yeah. If you want to try, uh, if you want to try and out maneuver them uh, and outrun them, then that's that's what you would be doing. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Just, uh, I don't really want to shoot because I only got a shotgun and there's a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's operate. Um, All right. so you would have the motorcycle if that's on your list. Yes, I have the motorcycle that counts for pushing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's one die. Uh, do you have anything else you can tag for being good on your motorcycle or being, I can push up to three, right? You can push up to six if you can find six, to six inch tag. Okay, well, I mean, I'm law abiding, so I'm gonna take all these curves at the right speed, you know. So I'm not gonna. Uh, that that uh, sounds like you're gonna take some like negatives that. to me. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, um, I'm persistent. Uh, persistent. Where okay. I, I will keep going. Yeah, uh, I'm tough. Persistent. Tough. So I'm gonna stay cool under fire. You know, like I'll I, take I, it. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, idealistic. You know, I I know I can get out of this. No, I, I... you can do it. Okay, uh, that's four. You want to go four? With four? Let's go with four. Let's go with four. Because uh, I'm running out of bullshit reasons. Okay. Uh, so then, on your character sheet, uh, it only you're... lets me push up to three on the character sheet. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. I'm I'm okay. doing that on the screen over here. So, on your screen, if you click above the uh, the verb operate. It should pop up a window that asks you how many push dice. Right. That's what I'm saying. It only right. it's to only gonna, three. Yeah, it's only going to yeah. say three. Just go ahead and take the three, and then we'll just roll two okay. more D6. Okay, uh, and, then roll, one more and then roll D6, two right? more, uh, or one more D6. A three. So you got 6.1. Um, okay, so I was going to need a six uh, to do this. So 6.1 does beat the 6. Sweet. Um, Sweet. So you are barely able to... What does that look like? So you do outdistance them. How do you do it? So this is a top-of-the-line motorcycle. This is like the best of the best that money can buy. I, I've even got like engraving on the uh, tailpipe and everything. I. You, you even know, convinced the dealer to charge you more for this motorcycle. I really did. I tipped him a lot. Uh, I didn't have to. I was just throwing money out. Uh, however, despite what this thing's capable of, I'm still barely willing to take it over the speed limit, which is why I'm just barely staying just out of reach of these guys. So, like, I'm, I'm going the speed limit, and they start to catch up to me, and I'm like, oh, shit, I got to go a little faster. And I'll, I'll go, like, 10 over, you know, I'll push it, and I'll, I'll get a little bit of distance, and I'll feel a little more comfortable until finally... I, I'm able to get away from them just by taking a turn uh, that went down like a narrow. Al it it was luck more than anything. I took a turn down a narrow alley that had a uh, 
blockage of some sort, maybe like a truck that was parked there. And I was okay. able to get my bike through and it caused them to funnel so badly that I was able to really put some distance and actually get away from them without them seeing where I was going. I can imagine the scene scout stopping at every red light and that's what's allowing them to catch you. Yeah, up. yeah. Every <laughs> single stop sign, you know, I'm checking both ways. All right. I am so, a lot of Scout, you lead them away from the hotel and you're able to circle back around. Uh, so this all just takes moments. So you pull up alongside the van as they're discussing what's going on. Yeah. Uh, when I do show up, uh, you guys will see that there's a ton of sweat, but I'll be acting like it was no big thing. You know, it was no big deal. I Completely easy. Oh, I do it all the time. And just because, I mean, it is the future. Your pan is pinging with traffic fines coming through for your speeding. <laughs> I wince every time knowing that I'm out of money and that I broke the law. That That's two things to hurt me. Because of course the reg the motorcycles registered to you because you know, that's what a law abiding citizen would oh, do. Oh, it absolutely is. So I'm going to have to pay these fines somehow. We better get a payday. So uh, what I miss guys. Uh, there are people who've been shot to death in this hotel our targets are in there, and there is a spooky man controlling the security there. Our targets were shot to death, or other people? Other people were shot to Our targets are fine. Okay, so we need to get the targets and arrest the spooky man. We need to Define get the targets spooky. and sentence. Yes, and sentence. And sentence. We don't yeah. need to get we don't need to get the rear, man. Yeah, just the got, spooky guy is gonna get caught in like seventy hours anyway. Yeah, but why do we need incense? No, what? no one said nothing about incense. Man. In you just said incense. Space sentence. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, Ivan and I are going in. I'm assuming you want to come, Scout. Kelly is gonna give us eyes. I'm gonna explain to this lady how the hauler works, but you know, like you know how like communications and stuff work in here, but I am not leaving her the ability to drive away with it. Uh, but I will lock it indoors and I'll explain like, don't let anyone out. This is how you operate the gun. Uh, but any ability for them to drive away, I will, they will not have that ability. I'll, like if I have to take keys, if I, I would, I don't know how the tech works in the future, but I'll, I'll come with, um, is this going to take a while? Cause I only fed the meter for 30 minutes. You're going to be fine. Okay. Yeah. I'm good then. Let's go. I'm ready. Whew. Meanwhile, the van is actually double parked in a fire, uh, <laughs> fire <laughs> zone. <laughs> I parked two blocks away because it was the only space I could find. All right. Uh, well, the first problem you have is the buildings and security lockdown. So, of course, the door doesn't work. We should go in invisible as well. Good one. Okay. I won't say no to that. So you know three spells. I am not going to turn you invisible. <laughs> uh, does your invisibility, it's mass, you have mass on yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to roll it. You make everybody okay. invisible. Yeah. Cool. Am I invisible? I'll get into the system and yeah. try to unlock the doors and make it All look right. like, uh, oh, something flickered with the security there for a second. Okay, so you don't have to hack back in. You've already gotten the adjective that you've got a back door. Uh, but you are going to have to hack uh, the door itself. All right. For this, I'm going to use my actual... Uh, would my virtual form assist in this? Yes. Okay. All right. So you're going you're gonna to go in hot. You're actually jumping into uh, the system then. Yeah. Okay. I'll just go with a... Normal hack, no pushing. Okay, uh, 4.1. Oh, uh, okay, that's not enough. Um, so what happens is uh, you are detected by the building's rigor. Um, and so like his avatar pops up and uh, it's like like a 1960s hepcat guy he's got uh he's got the french beret on he's got a pencil mustache and a little sharp goatee and he's uh he's smoking clove cigarettes 
He's like, it's, it's so. What are you? Are you another ganger? Are you are you here to loot the place? It's already looted. There's nothing here. Ah, hell not, dog. I'm the part of the cavalry. Cavalry? Is, is somebody answering my my distress calls? It's been going on for three days. Well, it's not so much that we're answering your distress calls so much as uh, we just kind of saw it. So. So, I'm guessing someone hired you to get someone out of this building. Am I close to the target here? Uh, yeah, and we're really hoping that uh, all those lovely chaps full of bullet holes uh, don't include the people we're actually here for. But either way, uh, if you could hijack some more vehicles out of the parking section, that'd be neat. Uh, I really can't help you there but i tell you what um you want in the building and uh i need some help it, currently yeah. my physical form is in a bathtub filled with ice cubes from the vending machine because i've been shot oh. and uh I, I i really would like to make it through this don't worry we know of that <sighs> right we also know a guy with a healing spell i'll open the doors <laughs> You help me out of here. Swag. Deal. Chunk. Door opens. And then uh, as you... Well, so what do you guys do? Yeah, so... Lock disengages. Door opens. Uh, I'll secure uh, our subjects and Ivan goes to the ice path. I mean, we gotta go up to the fifth floor for them. And then you got to go down for the rigor. So, like, what are you right. doing with their with your passengers? Are you leaving them in the van? Are you taking them with? Oh you? yeah, I've already yeah. Like yeah. I, I I mean Kaylee's back there, so she can kind of keep an eye. But I also explained to the woman that was like coherent, like how to use yeah. the gun if necessary. They don't have the ability to drive it away. Uh, and uh, yeah, why is your playlist of... nothing but big band music? Because I have class. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so what floor is this this hacker on he's in the basement in the safe room yeah, we that's could what, split up that's what i was saying yeah I, so, uh, I, what i was getting I at throw so an who, idea out there and then someone else says the idea and, what yeah. we should probably do is probably send <laughs> scout downstairs to get the rigor while I but ivan's the one who knows how to heal I'll send a text message to the pan saying, or we could just dipsy do on them and get out of here. We ain't. I'm not letting Ivan run, run wander around all by himself out here. Some that is a that. valid point. I 100% agree. Ivan cannot go unsupervised. I will go get the hacker from hey, the basement. There you go. <laughs> I am perfectly capable. I guess I do tend to destroy things. It's fair. No, I'm okay. capable. I would just. I don't know if I could handle something happen to you, buddy. That's I what appreciate that. You are a very good friend. Let's I can go. totally handle something happening to Scout, though. So mm -hmm. that's how it is. Okay, okay. let's go. Okay. Good Who talk. all goes in the building? Uh, the three the of us. Uh, yeah. Just the three of us. Okay. So once you van. get in, the door closes quickly behind you, and you hear the chunk of very serious security bolts lodging into place. Kaylee, over your comms, you hear... Unless I get out of here alive, they're not getting out of here alive. Right on, right so on. He, no problem, dude. Are we, are we invisible? Like, did he? Is there a way for him to see us coming in and for invisible? <laughs> oh heck yeah! Okay. <laughs> He's I, got sensors all over the place. Yeah, I but, would uh, like to throw out that my invisibility does have the the tag tech affecting. Oh okay. Uh, well, he still knows that someone came in uh, because Kaylee is outside said people were coming in so yeah so we'll rewind that a little bit uh he doesn't know how many people or who came in but the doors do close after you've gone in good just point so yeah it affects tech, just like you can't see a few. yeah yeah and and c by the way in in shadow run it, it extends to things like c smell heat signal all of that it covers like you are effectively invisible to everything if you have it covered with technology as well. <clears throat> cool. Well, let's right. hustle. 
Yes. Everyone knows where we're going. Let's go. Did you just tell Scout he was invisible, but he's not really? He's invisible. <laughs> he could tell. He would look down at his hands and <laughs> see them if he wasn't invisible. <laughs> Can you like? Can Am you I grabbing the first it? elevator, or you want me to take the second elevator? Uh, I mean, you take elevator number two. We take elevator number one. Okay, I I got in the first elevator with you because I didn't see you get in the elevator. So let me get out for real quick, and then. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, once you separate, uh, Scout will become visible, though, because I think your invisibility is a range, right? I have the, so the tags I got for invisibility that I uh -huh. think will f hit here, unattached, group, tech affecting, and silent. Okay, no, you don't become visible then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am a that shadow in the night. Good tags. Yeah. <laughs> I knew how to manipulate that one. Okay, so uh, let's take care of the fifth floor first. So you guys go up to the fifth floor. You're in the elevator. Uh, the elevator cart dings, door opens, there's gunfire. Um, all right, you're being shot at. <laughs> Just uh, hang out, see the sides of the elevator and wait for them to reload, I guess. Do we Is see there like a speaker system on the floor there? If you want to access the speaker system, yeah, of course it's got the yeah. speaker system. Okay. Uh, hey, 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 uh, we're the good guys, so, you know... Please don't kill us. We're here to save you. Yeah. I think they're going to shoot first before that goes off. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave it to them. No, no, no. I'm saying that after the gunfire is gone. I'm like, okay, ah, I enough. should have seen if they had guns. Sorry. <laughs> I like that I can see the adjectives on that character sheet, Bert. Yeah, exactly. S strong pimp hand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. And I've got push dice of my own. Uh, shoot. Two, two. Uh, I only see one adjective there, so I don't know how you're using two push oh, no, dice. Uh, my my uh, NPCs don't work that way. <laughs> oh, of course. How yeah. convenient. Uh, and they don't have hurt dice on them. So I've got a six. Uh, what this is going to go inside. against is your move. Um, so they're just spraying. Uh, they're using full auto, so they got the area of effect, and they're just shooting into the elevator. So what is your move, Ivan? Uh, let's see. Ivan in his tracksuit, my move is one. Okay, you're hit. <laughs> uh, you can spend uh, your push dice to make that one more. Uh, but you'd have to spend five of your push dice uh, to do that. I don't. I don't have five push dice. So you have. Much. So when we start, uh, sorry, let me move everything over. When you start a contested round, everybody's dice are primed. So you have six. Yeah, I'll dump wanna, the appropriate number to make me not shot. So you want to be not shot, and you want to spend it all. Okay. Yes, Chuck. Why do um, you want to be not shot? Because uh, I don't want my track suit. To get messed up. Oh yeah. If only we knew a good cleaner, right? Okay. Gonzu, what is your move? My move is two. Okay. Do you want to be hit or not? So well, I'm just confused. Like, do we not get any kind of role here? You I mean, don't. I have... So when someone is actively doing something against you, it's a static test versus whatever verb. In this case, it's your ability to get out of the way. You can only make it better by spending your push dice to increase your verb. You don't need to have an adjective to make it better. You can just spend the die. And then you get them back as soon as it becomes your turn. So there's just a lag between their turn and your turn where you're minus on the dice. So like having like hypothetically, not actually hypothetically, like I have like literal reflex simulators for reflexiveness, quickness. And oh, that, then that adds, that adds to your verb. That adds to okay. your verb. So, so what, yeah. what do you have to throw in there? And also, Ivan, if you had anything to make yourself get the heck out of the way, you're muted. Yeah. I just have sneaky. You're already invisible, so I don't know the sneaky yeah, on top I of would it, be because fine. it's just a mass spray. Yeah, uh, but gone yeah. to, if you've got wired reflexes and stuff that will make you like hit the yeah. deck, 
that would help. I have reflex simulators are nerve linked, reflexive, quick, and they're military grade. So that's four things you just One. enumerated. Yeah, there's four things, and like the object itself, and it has four different tags on it. Okay, so uh, all of that will help. What's your current? What's your move? So my move is two. So your move is two. Using the object would make it three. Uh, all of those adjectives on the object seem useful. Uh, so that would allow you to get up to a six. So you basically, you just hit the deck. They okay. spray high and you just drop and you're fine. Okay. Okay. And scout, you're not on this elevator, so you're fine. Uh, so Ivan uh, just throws himself to the edge of the elevator so that, you know, the door is giving you some protection. <clears throat> so what do you got? How do you guys react to this? Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Kaylee's voice comes over the intercom saying, uh, whoa, 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 hey, stop shooting, stop shooting. We're actually the good guys. Uh, we heard your runner's uh, distress call, so we're kind of responding to that. We mm. also have an officer on the scene. Don't worry. We got you covered. Okay. Uh, coax. Convince them. All righty. Coax. Oh, geez. Um, actually, let me see if I got any. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm going to put in a couple of my dice. Okay. Uh, what are you plugging to make them believe you? Well, oh, God. I guess I don't really have much in the way of that for my not virtual it? form. So, nope. I guess I'm not. Here we go. Urgh. Oh, that's not bad. Five. Yeah. Yeah. That's. That's fine. Four is what I was going to set the target at. Uh, okay, so you hear, you hear some guns being, you know, reset, cleared. <sighs> what do you do? You remember, you two are still invisible. I mean, do we do we see anything? I mean, do we see the people shooting at us? Like, do we? You can see movement. It's like they shot and then they just kind of ducked back into one of the rooms. Did we, I mean, are these our people or are these like like the people we're coming know. to get? Kaylee okay. had told you that the only people she saw through the video on the floor were your people, but you haven't okay. seen them to know for sure. All right. I'll call out one of the names. Uh, okay. I mean, obviously, like, I think Ivan and I are probably taking cover yes. on either side of the, but I'll call out one of the names and, you know, and I'll, and I'll actually I'll start listing all the names. And like, if that is your name. Uh, please stop firing. If that is not your name, continue firing. <laughs> uh, all right. Calling back is like, uh, did the corpse send you? Are you our evac? We are your evac. Okay. But if you uh, uh, if you want to not, if you want to stay here, you just go ahead and keep firing though. No, no, no. It's all right, but you can't evacuate us yet. Why is that? Uh. You know, it would be better if I wasn't talking to a disembodied voice. And the man, um, Lincoln Garfield is what the uh, the ID on him says his name is, uh, steps out. Uh, he's Native American. Uh, he's got, uh, you know, he's dressed in basically L.L. Bean-like <laughs> fake fatigues. He's got a backpack on. He's got a, he's got a, a rifle that's slung down. It's a hunting, like something you would buy out of a store, not military grade or anything. Uh, and he's got a suitcase that looks very similar to the suitcase your AI was carried in. Okay. He steps out into the open. His hands are away from the gun. Okay. Uh, hey, Ivan, can you drop my invisibility? Yeah. No problem. No problem. Okay, we're all friends here, Lincoln. You want to tell me uh, what's uh, what's the hold up here? Okay, so only gone two's dropped since you've got individual on that, Ivan. You can keep yours mm -hmm. up. Uh, look, um, I'm sure the corp is just interested in getting me out of here for whatever their reasons are. But look, there's something more going on here. Um, I'm sure you've seen the bugs. Hard to miss them. Yeah, uh, we found the nest. What do you mean the nest? Because we the already nest. Set one we on found fire. we found the nexus. The way they're coming in. Okay. And what were you planning on doing with that information? 
look, we, I don't know. I don't know what we can do, but if I know the local governments, they're going to blow the city up, aren't they? That's affirmative. Look, there's a lot of people still here. There's a lot of people that couldn't get out when they made, when they told, they, they gave, they gave us three hours to get out of this town. You can't evacuate a city this size in three hours. There's a lot of people here. If you can convince them to do a tactical strike to a known location, we could shut down that nexus. We could shut down the nest. It sounds like a great idea, but you know what's probably going to get them to listen a little bit better is knowing that we've already secured a lot of you. So uh, you come and with us. I darn well will put as much emphasis on a tactical strike as I can. They're going to need a location. They're going to need coordinates. I don't have them yet. I've got to get there to get the coordinates. we got to send a tracer signal something. We've got to mark the area. If I leave with you now, that's not going to happen. You and I both know they're just going to blow up the city. Well, we got a lot of time before that's going to happen. You come with us now, we get you to safety. I'll give you my word. The rest of us will go back and do the tag thing that you want us to do. Ooh. Convince him. Uh, okay, so I've got, uh, I mean, Coke's obviously, um, I mean, savvy. I'm saying the right things, I think, applies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's really it, really. I mean, I guess I'm not I don't think Gregarious is really coming into play here, so um I'm not gonna tap into that. But um Hey, you're not coming yeah. over as overly friendly. You're more yeah, like I'm not logical. Right yeah. 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 So I think I think just savvy probably applies. Okay. Uh just tapping one. All right. Just Go tapping ahead. one. Yeah. Give me that roll. Okay. Uh five. five. Yeah. Um Okay. Yeah, look, there's kids here. Um, if you can get the kids to safety too, I'll come along. Uh, you swear to me that you'll do this. I mean, we're there's got to be there's got to be twenty thousand people still here. If they blow up the okay. city, that's all. They're all dead. They're all dead. Yeah. I swear to you, you come with us right now. We'll come back in. We'll do the tag thing that you want to do, and we'll do whatever we can to convince them. Okay, I ain't. Got, I got a heart, man. I don't want these people to die. All right. Um, he hands you the luggage of the AI. Look, um, she goes by Tabitha. Uh, just link into her with, her, with your pan. Um, she'll she'll tell you how to get there. Um, the place has got to be marked. I expect they're going to use some kind of tactical strike. How long do we have? Uh, something like 78 hours, something like that, I think it was. I don't know, oh, 76. Okay. All right. All right. So there's time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. All right. Uh, he whistles. Uh, he's like, hey, heads up, guys. We got to ride out of here. Um, kids, the other three uh, people that you're here for come out of the rooms. Uh, they've all, again, they've all kind of suited up with. You know, uh, pillowcases full of like food. They found water, everything else. Uh, gone to you. Convinced them to come along with you. Meanwhile, Scout elevator you goes down, uh, and you your elevator is uh, just taking control of, and you hear a voice coming over the intercom saying, "I guess there's someone uh, aboard this thing. If you're here to uh, to rescue me, um, you notice that you've gone below the basement level." And there's no lights below that, but you still have the feeling of motion. Okay. I'm taking you to the uh, the safety vault. When you get there, I will unlock the door. I'll just hum some elevator music in response, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's, that's shit, that's shit. And uh, the girl from Ipanema starts playing over the elevator. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll wait for it to open it up. Okay, it opens. Uh, you're in a, a hallway that just goes in one direction. At the end of that hallway is a steel safety door. Uh, no other doors along the hall? Nothing else along the hallway at all. Okay. 
uh, I'll head to the safety door. Uh, again, hoping that there aren't any like trip wires or anything like that. Okay. Uh, if you're looking around, um, actually, yeah, the, the whole floor, they're not traps. The whole floor is, you notice the pressure sensitive tiles. So like your body weight's being tracked as you move. There's sensors everywhere. Um, you can see the cameras. Again, there's nothing else in this hall except for the funnel to this door. You do see some odd bulges in the ceiling, which you bet are some kind of defense system. Uh, I'll just speak out loud. Are these defenses off? Uh, for now. Can you open the door? You're not close enough yet. It will only stay open for uh, 10 seconds. How do you know how close I am? Uh, the floor in front of you lights up. All right, I'll give you that one. <laughs> I'll <laughs> move towards the door. Yeah. Pressure sensors. <laughs> uh, so you get to the door. Uh, as soon as you get within just a foot of it, you it cycles, it pops open, and then uh, you see like there's a digital readout on the front. It's counting down very quickly from 10 seconds. I'll get in the door as fast as I can. Okay. Pop in. It's a well conditioned, uh, well air conditioned, but fairly small room uh, that's just filled uh, with banks and banks of like server racks uh, and just like kind of in a console area. The chairs were moved aside, and like there's like just a tub that's been set there and there's a body in it. The tub's been just filled with ice cubes. Uh, like up to the neck. Uh, the tub, there's blood kind of splashed through the cubes. Uh, he, the person inside does not look good at all. You notice that he is jacked in. There's a, a, a set of electrodes to the back of his neck. As you come forward, a uh, hologram kind of pops up on the console. It's only a few inches tall. And again, it's, uh, it's what Kaylee saw in VR. And you guys wearing a little French beret has the ironic hair <laughs> on his face, smoking a cigarette. Right, it's like, right. yes, yes, I look like shit. Yeah, you want me to just pick you up and carry you out? Uh, do you have uh, medical training of any sort at all? I, I, I don't know how bad oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, I, I'm a police officer. I know all sorts of first aid. Did, in my understanding, you, you were really good at making people dead, not so good at making people stay alive. Uh, no, no, no. I'm a first responder. Our priority is to save lives every time. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, I have no idea how bad off I am. If you want to, I'll walk over to the tub and be like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, <laughs> he's taken. You can see the bullet wounds. Uh, he's made a rudimentary effort to like bandage them up, but there's a lot of blood in that tub. Uh. I want to, as inconspicuously as I can, turn on my uh, camera on my pan so sure. Kaylee can see like the server racks and everything, uh, specifically trying to send it to her. Does any of this look important to you? No, not for what we're here for, as I'm now trying to hack into their server. Oh, you've already got a back door. So oh, you, you okay. Know. Yeah, I'm pulling all the financial information. Okay, so you're uh, all that good stuff. All the guests. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Because I can plug in my pan, you know, I need to charge it anyways. This battery dies so fast. I, I can't even get it the last a half uh, hour Hang anymore. on, just give me one quick second. Okay, I'm done. Uh, uh, I'm done scanning all the files now. You can, to make sure everything's safe, you can go ahead and plug in your malware. It's fine. Okay, uh, Mr. Voiceman, is there anywhere I can plug this in just to, you know, give me a little charge real quick? Uh, yeah, third console to the left. Just flip up that little panel. You got a charge port right there. I'm going to completely go to the wrong console and plug it in. My left. The, the, the other left. Uh, and after it's plugged in, uh, I'm going to leave the pan because it hasn't been working for me anyways. And Kaylee promised me a new one. Uh, and I will uh, look at the body and see like what it takes to actually transport him. All right. Uh, well, again, uh, he's got a lot of bullet holes. He's lost a lot of blood. Uh you Will know, like pulling him out of this bath kill him? You don't know. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> okay, so what do you have for? Well, uh, he... Do you do you have any adjectives at all for medical? I'm idealistic. <laughs> 
Well, then you think that you can pull him out of there just fine. You're sure it'll work out in the end because everything I'm works also out in stubborn, the end. persistent, and law-abiding. Uh, he wants us to carry him out. So yeah. uh, I will uh, do my best. I'll, I'll roll up my sleeves uh, and I'll pull him out of that ice bath. And if he... Wait, like, wait, wait. Hold on. Leaking hold on. Out of anything, I'll put some pressure on there. Uh, he's, a, he's, yeah, he's going, hold on, hold on a minute, uh, Kaylee. So over to your pan, he's like... Uh, he's going to have to disconnect me here. So uh, a bunch of passwords and information come through. That's the building's codes. Use it well. Treat her like a fine sports car. <laughs> oh, I... have Yeah, no problem. All right, yep. He's Isn't giving you all the access do? keys. I said to the <laughs> Uh, yeah, Scout. So you you have to pull the cord out of him uh, to get him out of the tub. You gross. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, and it, like I said, if he seems to be leaking out of anywhere, I'll try to apply as much pressure as I can. I'd, I'd like to think that after this time, you'll mostly be clotted up, but we'll see. Well, the ice cubes did seem to help uh, some bringing down his core temperature. He's lost a lot of blood. He did the passable job of keeping himself from completely bleeding out, but he's, he's pretty rough. Uh, you just fire him and carry him out of there, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we promised to take him to the vet. I, I didn't say I'd be able to save him on the right. spot. So. so you turn around and yes, yeah, the first problem you are faced with is that the security door has cycled behind you. It only stays open for 10 seconds. I'll open it up. Okay. Uh, Kaylee, you put in the codes. You manage to get your way through, go to the elevator. Where are you heading, Scout? Uh, just straight to the truck. I, I don't really under, know that Gantu and Ivan had their ruckus, so I'm just going to try and get this guy to the truck. Okay. About that time, Gantu, you're coming down with everybody, the kids, uh, the other four members of the party that you're after. Uh, everything's looking good. Uh, but as you are loading up everybody quickly into the van, people are taking seats. It's getting a little packed back there now, but you know, since you've got a large luxury van that's spacious. <laughs> uh, well, not yeah. to mention, uh, we should have access now to the parking garage. So yeah. any right. vehicle in there that they need, they can probably get. Do you out. want to get another vehicle? I mean, people were carrying like suitcases and stuff. Like we ain't got room for that. Like leave that stuff here. Uh, uh, yeah, we were going to have to walk out of here. So food, water, uh, yeah, if you say so. They just dump yep. the bags. Okay. Well, that's more space right there. That's at least th two, three more people I can get in comfortably. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, let, let's go. Yeah. We got one more stop on the way out. We got one more person to pick up. She was injured. We got to pick her up because, uh, yeah, we stopped at a vet. <laughs> he looks over at Ivan. We stopped at a vet because we needed some medical attention for her. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this guy right here needs some medical attention too, so we might need to uh, get him to well, the vet anyways. Yeah, everybody in, and if somebody's strong and sturdy, they can ride with Scout on the on the motorcycle too, just wrap around his waist or something. Oh, okay. yeah, we cruise at a nice 35 miles per hour. You get a little breeze. It's fantastic. Well, Scout, since you are riding the motorcycle, as you're heading back to the vet, uh, you notice that the skies above you, uh, the first thing you think is that, oh, uh, there must be rain coming. There's dark clouds up there. Uh, but then you notice that the clouds are moving against the wind. And then you take another look. There's swarms of insects. You know, I'm glad it's not rain because motorcycles don't get good traction in the rain. So, <laughs> uh, one of the swarms is directly above the veterinary clinic as you pull in. Uh, guys, uh, you may not be able to see up there, but it, it looks a little, uh, how do you say, buggy out? Um, um, how big are the bugs? Better question, how big can your fireball be? Large. Like a fill up a horizon type large? Because that's about what we need. Not quite that big. Uh, suggestion yeah, I here. Known you couldn't do it. Go faster. 
Well, no, they're right above the vent. Oh, like, oh, yep. They're not yeah, like, like we're headed not like to just them. just feet above. I mean, like they're pretty high up in the air, uh, but it is there is a mass of them right above the vets. Yeah, we're talking like uh, one of the plagues of Egypt here. Like that's a lot of bugs. Yeah. Well, yeah, my suggestion we. You park a little ways out, go invisible, sneak in. Invisible, the lady and their dogs sneak back out. What about the vet and the hacker, though? We got to get them out of the city. Eh. If if we follow through with plan that Gantu has with man, then the getting them out of city is not such a big deal. Yeah, he didn't hear that part. Scout, I agreed to save the whole city. I figured you would like that. But right now, we got to get that woman out of there so we can put the second phase of Save the City plan into action. What he says. I wish you were a hero on the inside. You just, you, you just needed a, hero, a little right? motivation to bring it out Gantu's of you. He's always been the hero. Gantu is the moral compass of this party. And that it varies from time to time which way it's in points. <laughs> Gantu just doesn't point at Magnetic North, that's all. It... <laughs> yeah, it's just a little off-center. It's, it's, it's a, it's Large a goodness, sums of credit really tend to cool. move that needle a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard Money to Money has that magnetic though. quality that throws off the yeah, compass. Absolutely. He always does right. He always does right by people. So what do you want to do, guys? So you're not sure if they're here because you're here. I mean, again, it's not, it's directly over the clinic, but it's not close. It's fairly high in the sky. So there, there is a thing here where like the zombies find us, these bugs find us. There's a lot of things finding us. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, is it us or is it the people that we are trying to find? Well, it's over, I mean, the, it's over the I'm vet sorry. though. And we're not at the vet right now. Mm -hmm. Right. So. But we left someone important at the vet and maybe they're trying to find her because we found her at the bowling alley. Therefore, we took her to the vet. Don't worry, Gatsu. I, I got the logic That's side figured out. I'm, I'm really asking Ivan, like, could this be like they're honing in on her? I mean, if these people have some kind of responsibility for the shit that's hitting the fans, then it's impossible, yes. But I still think the invisible go in, get the lady and our dogs. Could um, they see her if she's invisible? If they're already like honing in honestly, on her? Honestly, I think that if I turn her invisible, it might remove, if she is being tracked by these, it shouldn't remove anything that they're using to track it because it will make her invisible both the material, technological, and in, in an astral sense. You see, I, I would believe you, except you've already spent five push dice. So I really don't. <laughs> Those will come back. It's fine. That, <laughs> that encounter's over. They all come back before the next one starts. See, they're coming back now. <laughs> all right, if you say so. Well, you're lucky that you're driving a motorcycle with someone we need to save right now. Because if not, I'd just knock you out and let you. Get, I am get very important rash. to this mission in some way that I have not figured out yet, but I am vital. Okay, so is that plan? Invisible, go rescue. Who do do we I have people so. to save after this? This is all eight of the people you were told to get. Oh, this is this is um, nice. Question: Do we have like a specific extraction point? Like, could we drop off seven of them and then go back for the eighth? So what you were told is that how you get up is up to you because there is no communication with the outside. Right, so right, you're right. going to have to figure out how to get out. So we want all eight. All right. Well, if you think the, the whole invisibility spell will work, then I suppose we should try it. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah, get out by Uber. Call an Uber. Call Uber. <laughs> they get you anywhere. 
All right. Uh, so what's your plan, Ivan? Are you going to go in invisible or how, uh, how are you working this? I think I'm going to pop invisibility on Gantu and I. Okay. And then the two of us will leave the van okay. while invisible. We'll park you know, a block or two out. Okay. With Sounds the, like a plan. Yeah. With the thought that Gantu is strong enough to carry the lady. Uh, and there was plenty of leashes, so I'll just invisible right. her and the so dogs. We're almost at time, so I'm going to fast track this a little bit. But you go up to the door, uh, even though you're invisible, you know, you knock, you tell him who you are, come in. Um, he tells you that she's stable um, for, you know, she needs to get to hospital within the next 10 to 12 hours would be good. Uh, she's stable for now. He does say, look, I uh, he hands over a few x-rays. Um so she's not bleeding internally. The blood was being, I, it just kind of hand, just kind of pushes the x-rays over to you. He looks this, like a little freaked out. It's like, she's, she's, she's got the pest, doesn't she? She's pregnant. The, there's something in her womb and it's feeding off of her. And that's where the blood loss is coming from. Uh, and if you look at the x-ray, so like what you see is like, it looks like, like a mud dauber's nest almost like nestled in there. <laughs> it's like the fly. I don't know what to make of that, but hey, I did my part. Uh, food? Ammo? Also, oh, yeah. I'm sorry to interject. Did you guys bring the hacker in or did you leave him? He's in the truck, I think. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I I don't. Gantu, did you bring food? I forgot. I was so excited about dogs. Well, I mean, like that was the deal. So I think Gantu would have brought something. Like we did promise him wine and caviar. So I think that's <laughs> what he would have with him. Yeah. Yeah. At first, he looks like he's going to. It's like that's not enough. Oh, oh, that's really. Oh, that's good wine. Oh, yeah. oh, this is a good caviar. <laughs> Only the best. That's right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, is she due anytime soon? Do I, you think? I've never helped a person give birth to whatever that is. I have no idea. Well, the good thing is it's not your problem anymore. It's ours. So you did your part. You're absolutely right. We're going to go ahead and take her now. Uh, you might want to turn the lights off and shut the doors there's some you got a storm overhead so keep it quiet down here just in sure. case i mean they're gonna lift this cordon off soon right i mean oh yeah right? yeah okay. yeah oh no i problem. mean i've got Honestly. enough food for the dogs and the pets for it's probably speaking a good month of, speaking of that we would like to adopt some of your dogs <laughs> oh yeah sure yeah, good. Uh, good. Take what you uh, want. I I don't think the, their owners are coming back for them. The German Shepherd, you know, she and I we had a moment. You know, I ruffled her head. She licked my hand. I feel like we're best friends now. She comes over, sits, puts one hand on you or one paw on you. That's so an amazing <laughs> dog. <laughs> are you girl. rescuing them or did they rescue you? They know. really are the smartest dogs right here. Oh, All right, man. so you rescue some dogs. You round them up yeah. into what little room is left in your van. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to cut it there then. Oh, oh. How, how do you leave? Like, what do you do with her? Um, you two are invisible. That's fine. I would probably recast invisibility on everyone who's leaving including the animals hmm. okay um i'll tell you what i do want to roll from that just because there's a lot mm -hmm. of beings yes that's totally fair so uh all right so for invisibility i got my prowl uh and the two things i can throw on that are mage and infiltrator yeah so that's two both are good and then my invisibility's got all the tasty tags on it. That sure. Thing. I mean, you've got time. You're not rushed. So, I mean, a four, four right. is your target. Um. Yeah, I should be able to do that. Throw on two die. 
Boom, look at that. 5.1. Not a problem. Yeah, not a strain at all. Um, So she's invisible too. The dog's invisible. You're invisible. You're carting her over. Gantu's carrying her. Uh, The swarm that's above the vet uh, just starts dissipating. It's like as soon as soon as you leave, actually, as soon as you cast the spell, if mm-hmm. Kaylee and Scout are watching, uh, the they just start to break up, kind of so, wandering. Bits, uh, conglomerations of them just start wandering in different directions, like they're searching for something. I would relay I would. that over comms too. Yep. I would. So, go ahead. Tell Gant too. Off comms, uh, I hate to say it, but I definitely think Scout's correct in the fact that these things are probably ch- tracking whatever is specifically inside of her. Yeah, I mean, I guess we keep her invisible, invisible yeah. for now. I think that's... Figure it out later. Yes. That can be someone else's problem once we get her to safety. We got it. We they said get them, get them out. That's what we're doing. Yes. All right. Everybody's loaded you, into the van, and you guys pick a direction. Uh, you didn't have next... to do that off comms. You could have said that on comms. Just so <laughs> I could know. have. I could have. But they didn't. They didn't. Uh, so we will pick up next time with your guys' strategy for how the heck do you get out of here? Remember, the whole place is surrounded in a dome of both a both physical and magical dome. Uh, that's keeping anyone from basically leaving the city. Um, yeah, so we'll end it there. Uh, Chuck, anything going on with the Defenders of Cobalt the rest of this yes. week? Yes. Wednesday, 9 p.m. Uh, we've gotten from some Forbidden Lands in the Thunder Rift setting. You catch Bert, Jeff, Jake, and myself over there. Uh, Thursday, I think we should be doing Curse of Strahd. No promises. Uh, Friday, we've wrapped up our current shadow run stint. So at 10 PM on defenders, we're going to be starting up, uh, Joe's game that he's writing himself. So it's Friday, 10 PM. Yeah. Uh, and then next Saturday, I think we're scheduled for strict saving on grim and perilous plays and Saturday night, Bert, you're going to be running us through some more weird frontiers. I've really uh, been enjoying this. Trick if you want to too. drop your link in the chat, go ahead. I forgot to set yeah. night pot up. Uh, Jeff, you got anything going on with the lollygaggers? Uh, yeah, tomorrow night uh, we're starting up a new game. We're starting up Holler for Savage Worlds, uh, 1930s Appalachia folk horror stuff. Uh, Chuck Burt will be in that game. Uh, Friday, we're doing Traveler. A couple weeks into that, having a lot of fun. Uh, Saturday, we'll be doing One Ring Second Edition. You can catch Steven in that game. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Sounds good. Steven, you got anything going on? Uh, uh, did you guys just, have your last session? We had our finale of Darkest House. Uh, we weren't sure if it would be the finale of this session or the next one or the one after that, but uh, they got through the end real quick. And uh, there was a single survivor out of the whole party. Uh, so you have to check out uh, Defenders of Kabold YouTube channel. Uh, to see who that was with uh, without someone here pointing at who it was. <laughs> nice. Very good. Uh, and then you can catch us, of course, uh, on this channel. If you found us, you know where we are. Twitch.tv slash Steam Steel Murder. The next game is going to be Tuesday night for some first edition Dungeons and Dragons. We are playing through the Desert of Desolation series. Friday is BX Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Saturday on the official Goodman Games channel with some uh, Weird Frontiers. That is a Saturday, right? No? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let me double yeah. check my calendar. Yeah, this is this is our on Saturday. Uh, and yeah. Sunday is Boot Hill 3rd Edition. Also, check out the podcast at Blue Magic, dot com. Lots and lots of years there of fun, fun times. Anyway, say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Let's see if I can figure out how to end this broadcast. Oh. <laughs>